Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today. And today we're taking another look at a uh, iPad 3 case or iPad third generation case from Spigen and SGP. So go check out their website. It's www.spigen, S-P-I-G-E-N.com. And uh, we're taking a look at the diary case for the new iPad. Now the diary case retails for $64.99 and it is available in uh, brown and uh, black. Okay, so two different colors, brown and black. We're taking a look at the brown one today. And uh, I've got to tell you, this is one of the most unusual iPad cases that I have ever tested um, on any of the iPads, the iPad 1, the iPad 2, or the iPad 3. So uh, enough messing around, let's get uh, into this one. This is a genuine leather iPad case, and it is a one-piece iPad case. So it is made out of one piece of leather, and uh, as you can see already, it is very thin, and uh, it is very minimalistic. It's got a great look to it, it is genuine leather. Uh, it does have the Spigen, uh, logo embossed in on the front on the back here it's got a nice little button and snap okay that's kind of magneticized um, but here's where it gets strange okay, when you open it up um, as you can see there's no slot for the iPad there's no kind of way to hold it in except for this jelly adhesive pad over here so let's get the iPad in here and let's show you how um how this case functions so how you put this in here is you take the ipad and you put it face down on this side and you take this and you kind of line it up okay and we got to go over this way just a little bit more so you line up the um, camera hole there and there we go and then what you do is is you press down and you get that jelly that washable jelly uh adhesive pad to stick to your ipad okay and then you've got the snap and there you have it that's it now uh, like i said you guys are maybe wondering wow that's it tom and yeah that's it so what holds your ipad in place is that jelly adhesive now i've used this for about a week or so and the jelly adhesive has stayed pretty sticky except for on the edge there so i don't know if you guys can see that or not there's about i don't know a third maybe a quarter of an inch there where it is not sticking to the ipad now this jelly pad is washable um but i'm just not sure how sticky it's gonna stay um for the long run on the other part of the case on here it is not a, a felt it is more of a uh I want to say kind of a rubbery type feel to it it feels like uh, those rubberized warning tracks on baseball fields okay so i don't think you're gonna have a problem with it hurting your ipad or scratching it i think it's really pretty soft um my concern is is that jelly type of uh adhesive there but getting on to more uh important things okay it does have a couple viewing angles here we have uh, one viewing angle there and the reason it does stay there and i'm not sure if you can see this there is a little ridge right there guys so you're able to put your ipad and it stays there quite nicely so guys and that's the one real viewing angle um you know i'm not really sure about this case um like i said there's the one viewing angle and then as you can see on the box it has a, a kind of a lower viewing angle but i really haven't been able to kind of get it to stay at that low, lower viewing angle it always kind of slides down there for me um so i think we've got one viewing angle there so you don't have a real good typing angle i wish that we had another ridge right there or right about there for a typing angle but we don't um so my big concern on this case is this jelly pad and because if this jelly pad doesn't adhere okay, for a long time your ipad is really just going to kind of fall out of there um, there's nothing holding it in place on the top there's nothing holding it in place on the bottom um, i could see someone opening this up and kind of flipping this ipad over and this jelly pad not holding and having this thing just kind of fall out and come crashing down so this is a novel design don't get me wrong guys 
I'm just not sure about this jelly pad. I mean, here we go. I just, I kind of pulled it off relatively easily. Okay, this isn't really dirty, um, but as you can see, it does collect some dust there. But again, you put your iPad there, you, you stick it in, okay, and then you close it up, and that's it. Um, jury's still out on this one, guys. Uh, I like the look, I like the, the design, I like the kind of feel of it. I just don't like how the iPad sits in there. I'm just, I'm just not feeling it. I would like to see another uh, kind of sticky pad, although I get why there's only sticky pad on, on half because then you wouldn't be able to stand it up, you know, if you had another sticky pad there. Just not sure I'm feeling this one, guys. So anyway, uh, this diary comes in two colors, like I had mentioned, it comes in the brown and the black, and it is $64.99. So um, if you have this case, tell me what you think, and really, tell me what you think of this design. I'm really curious to see um, your thoughts on it, because it is innovative, don't get me wrong. I'm just not sure I'm buying the fact of this, uh, this case really protecting my iPad um, from drops. And not necessarily a drop, but really just protecting my iPad from itself, to be quite frank with you. So let me know what you guys think. If you have a question about this case or any of the other products that we review, shoot me an email. It's Tom Moshe at buymeaniphone.com. Follow us on Twitter. It's uh, twitter.com slash buymeaniphone. You want to follow me personally, it's twitter.com slash nerfsqueezer. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your support. And uh, tell the ones you love you love them today. And until the next video, guys, you guys have a great day.